sum of a finite arithmetic um, sequence. So what they're pretty much saying, or I'm sorry, for a series, is if we have the sum, to find the sum, what we need to do is we obviously, it's finite, right? So that means it doesn't go on and on forever. It ends at a term. So to find the sum, we need to be able to determine the nth term, um, the, la you know, the last term, the number of terms that it has, the value of that number of terms, and then also we need to find the first term. And then after that, what we'll simply do is be able to find the sum. All right? So to find the sum, you need to be able to know the number of terms. Does it have 100 terms, 10 terms? How many terms do you have? If it has 10 terms, you need to find the sum, you need to find the value of your series at that, or the, your you know, value at that term, right? So let's say it has 10 terms. You need to figure out what is A of 10. You need to figure out that value, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Then you also need to know what the first value is. What is A sub 1 equal? That is how you're going to be able to find the sum of all of them as long as it's an arithmetic sequence. Okay? All right. So we can go through a quick little example. <clears throat> 